YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I want to teach you guys how to make an RPG style game UI. I don't believe I've done this. So this is the first time on the channel that we're doing an RPG game UI. So this is going to be fun. All right, so I actually have a reference or a bunch of uh, references. We're going to pull up. Um, so if you give me a second. All right, so the first one, we have this one. All right, the second one is this one right over here. And um, let me try to get one more, maybe. All right, I'm just gonna grab this one. So today, uh, let's work on making a this profile thingy. So to start off, uh, let's go over here. You wanna click and hold and go to your ellipse tool. Let's take the ellipse tool. And if you pay attention to my settings up here, I have the fill turned um, turned on. So on the black option here and my stroke is turned off. So this uh, white box with the red slash through it. So let's make our circle, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna hold shift. You're gonna click and you're gonna drag out and you're also going to hold alt now as well so shift and alt and drag out like this and make our little circle all right now if you hit Control a on your keyboard you can make a selection around your canvas now what this will do is we're going to go to our move tool right here and if you hit this button this will align by the horizontal center so click here boom and this for vertical just like that. To get rid of this selection, just hit Control D on your keyboard, just like that. And now um, let's change our colors. So double click here. Let's go for a dark gray. Now we're gonna right click, and we're gonna go blending options. We go inner shadow, and uh, opacity all the way up. Color is on black. We see we're just gonna apply a nice inner shadow, just like that. Now we're gonna copy this layer. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna go duplicate layer. We're gonna hit okay. And now we're gonna take the FX right here and we're gonna drag it down to the trash can to get rid of the inner shadow. We're gonna go back to our ellipse tool. Now we're gonna go fill. And this time we're gonna turn fill off and we're gonna enable stroke. And I'm just gonna make it white so you can see it. Uh, let's turn off the background we have. Uh, maybe I should make it red. All right, so you can see. Let's bump this up to I want to say I want to say maybe maybe uh, 15. And as you can see, the stroke it's aligned. I mean, it's going towards uh, the inside. So to change that, we're gonna click here. This little arrow. We're gonna go align, and we're gonna go outside. The third option. Like that now our stroke should go outside of our uh bottom layer so we're gonna right click we're gonna go bundling options and now we're gonna change our color um let's go for a lighter shade and i, th I think we gotta resize this one all right boom all right let's go back this time let's go bevel and emboss and feel free to copy my settings here as well um yep so you click on these you can see different console options so you can just uh, copy my settings here i i think this right here should be fine all right i think i'm gonna stick with um this one right here and uh yeah okay so we got that let's check our references see what else we got okay so i think a bit lighter all right um let me fix this actually Right, I think this actually looks better. All right, now we can do some cool little designs. And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna show you guys. So if you make a new layer, we're gonna take our brush tool right here, turn the hardness all the way up, opacity and flow all the way up. But we're gonna decrease the size all the way down to one, two, three. So up to you. I'm just gonna make the color black, I mean red, so I can see what's going on but let me show you guys what we're doing all we're doing is we're just making a cool little pattern so you can draw anything you want i'm just gonna draw something like this you can do anything you want drop this down to one you can zoom in and uh also don't have the tablet so go right here 
I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over. Um, let's try to go this way. All right, if you think it looks good, just keep that. And now we're gonna take this layer and um, we're gonna move it behind everything else. And we're just gonna copy it multiple times. So hit Control J, and that's your shortcut for duplicating. Once you have that, uh, you're gonna hold Shift, click on the bottom one. So you have all three selected. And now we're gonna hit Control E to merge. Right click, go into blending options, and when you go color overlay, right here when you change your color to a nice gold color, like that. And when you go bevel emboss, all right, right here, you got some nice gold effects here. You can also copy, um, control. So copy, control J, control T, right click and flip vertical. So we got some neat little effects here. Take these two, rotate. Like that, and uh, I'm gonna try to add a stroke with a gray color and see how that looks. All right, so we're gonna have this right here. Um, you can also copy the outline, Control J, go back to your tool, let's bump the stroke down to maybe four, and we're going to change the color, so let's go pick the same gold color, so you can see, boom, let's go three actually, and now we got a nice little, um, Nice little avatar thing going on. Uh, I'm gonna try this actually. Let's see how this looks. I right, think I'm just gonna um, do this right here. Copy. I'm just gonna have a, a top layer as well. Lighter color and um, Let's do a different contour. Let's do that. I like that. There we go. That's nice. And we could change the show to 10. All right. That was good to me, actually. That actually looks pretty decent. Um, you can take these off if you want. Um, let's actually uh, hide this and Let's go take the first layer. I'm gonna go with inner glow, um, normal on red. Do something like this. There we go. That was good to me. Let's take the outermost layer and let's add a stroke to that. All right, looks good. Now, if you have a render of your character, you could go ahead and add that as I'm gonna add mine. So, here we go. That looks pretty clean to me. And now let's make the progress bars, the health bars, mana bars, whatever we got. So, first of all, the health bar. Let's take our random rectangle and let's go turn off stroke. Oops, you gotta make a new layer. All right. Let's uh, fill on black, stroke off, radius. Let's do, let's check our examples. Let's do probably around 10. Let's just draw out like that. Move it down. Now with these, let's make it a nice gray color. We're gonna copy, control J. Turn off the fill. Let's go turn on stroke. Red, so you can see. 10. Let's go for 7. Alright, let's go in. Color overlay. And add a bevel. Boom. There we go. There we go. It's a very simple way to have a border thingy. 
There we go. That looks a lot better. All right. So we're gonna have this. And now for the actual bar, you wanna copy the background. So the outline is on top. Now with the background, we're gonna go for, um, let's go for a red color. All right. Let's go into blending options. Let's go for satin. You could copy my settings right here. Let's go overlay. Boom. Give it some vibrance. Vibrance like that. Go inner shadow. Turn this into white. Let's go overlay. Choke all the way up. So now we got something like this. Perfect. Um, you can copy these. So let's take all these and copy it down. Drag it down. Whatever. And this is going to be your mana bar, I assume. It is up to you. Should I have these touching? I don't know. All right. You know, EXP experience. Maybe. <laughs> um. Yeah. So let's have these bars. Uh. I'm gonna take everything. I'm going to control G to group, control J to copy. And now with my copy, I'm gonna go ahead and scale these down accordingly. So we got this, and I can also enlarge my character. And there you basically have it. That's how you make an RPG style uh, game profile UI. Um, if you want, you can take all of these outline plates here. You can take uh, these backgrounds here. This one, and we got this one. You can copy these, so copy, boom, and add a stroke. You can see right here, add a stroke. Make this black. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, do me a favor, check out our website, gfxcomment.com. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video.